Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Brianna, this is Coffee Books and Bullet Journals, and today it is time to let's categories choose my TBR. So before we begin, I do want to talk about August. I have finished August's um, Scattergories TBR. Well, I say that. I have like 30 pages left of this book, which got changed and added out. Um, but other than that, I have finished all, everything up this, and then there are three, two or three audio or um, ebook copies that I don't have physical copies of. So we are good. I don't have to do any, um, any bonus or punishment roles, which is fantastic. Um, I actually have had like one of the best reading months of the year, which is weird. I don't like I didn't expect that, especially with Veda and putting out as many videos as I did. I don't know how I read as much other than like audiobooks. <laughs> Let's be 100% honest, because I have done a lot of driving this month. Unfortunately, for September, I have four buddy reads. So that's fun. Um, so hopefully we can fit them into my categories because otherwise I'm reading like 10 books this month, which I mean could happen, but we'll see. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pick our first round. This is honestly one of my favorite videos of all time to film because I have no idea what I'm getting into at the beginning of the month. There is the possibility that I will have a great TBR or there is the possibility this categories will just, you know, torture me. We'll see. All right, let's pick this the first one. A book that you could read in one sitting. So that could be, you can't see that with my uh, focus. Anyway, with my ring light, I don't think you can read that, but that's fine. You'll have to trust me. Um, okay, uh, let's pick a letter. Okay, this is perfect. I am going to be reading Across the Green Grass Fields by Shauna McGuire. This is the sixth book in the Wayward Children series. This comes out January of 2021. I have an arc for it. I'm so excited. I actually binge read like the last th four, three, three, the last three in August. Um, I binge read the entire, um, basically the entire series of The Wayward Children and really enjoyed them actually, surprisingly. So I'm excited about this one. This is also another one that potentially could be a starting point for people if they don't didn't really like the previous ones or didn't don't want to start all the way at the beginning. This might be a really good one to start out with. So I'm excited um, and it's only like, it's 120 pages. So like it might be a stretch. Like I would have preferred maybe a graphic novel to do in one sitting, but this is uh, one of the ones that was a potential buddy read for September that I will be reading uh, with Becky from Coffee, Cocktails, and Books, and really excited to get into this one. Okay, let's pick another one. That was actually not one of the four buddy reads, so I actually have five buddy reads. So cool. Okay, uh, again, you can't really read it, but an LGBTQ plus book. I got lots of those. Let's pick a letter. This is another one of the buddy reads, and so I will be reading The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. This is actually the group book for the Literary Alliance for September, and I'm really, really excited to pick this one up. This one has been all over booktube, and it's definitely one that has piqued my interest. This is a kind of... It's like this magical school. I don't know, it's kind of, I've, I've heard it's kind of similar to Wayward Children, but it's about like this person who has an orphanage for magical children um, that are kind of uh, outcasts. So um, I'm pretty sure this is queer. Um, I, it's not like outright on, on the page, but if you look at the author bio on the back, it says, being queer himself, Kloon believes it's important now more than ever to have accurate, positive queer representation in stories. So I assume this is queer. All right, it's time for a, another prompt. A book in a series. Let's pick a letter. Yeah. 
Okay, this is a book that I'm really, really excited about, and I might actually be starting it a little bit early, but that's okay. Uh, that is The Dragon Republic by R.F. Kuang. This is the second book in the Poppy War series. I read The Poppy War July into August. Um, this is a huge book, but I'm so excited to pick it up, and I do have an arc of the Burning God, so I'm really excited to like kind of get through the series and I'm just gonna binge it. We're just gonna go with it. This is an Asian inspired um, high fantasy and the first one talks about um, basically her kind of going through this assassin school and learning um, learning her powers and just kind of being a badass. Um, <laughs> the pacing is really really fast in the first book and I'm sure that the second book is going to be no different than that. This is definitely one of my recent anticipated reads and yeah, I um, might be starting this one early. All right, let's pick another prompt. I'm trying to debate if I want to do six books or seven books since I do have so many um, buddy reads this month. I think I'm gonna go with a seven because I had a really good reading month in August and I'm not, I, I feel like I'm like on a roll right now. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep it, keep it up. Okay. An arc, which is good because I do need to read my arcs. That's not any of the buddy reads, but yeah. Okay, let's pick a letter. I am going to be reading The Love Story by Chris Ripper. This is, I think, a new adult contemporary romance, and this is queer. It is about Declan, who has just had really, really bad luck with, um, relationships and his friends like to tease him that he went you know he left his last boyfriend at the altar um and then Declan meets Sydney on this like they're trying to do like a basically a study on dating and going up on all of these dates um Sydney is non-binary and so there's some really really I mean I'm hoping really great representation for non-binary because that's not something you see a lot especially in like adult romance. Um, so I'm really excited about this one. It comes out at the end of September, so I'm definitely going to be picking this one up sooner rather than later to get an arc or a review up. Okay. These things always stick together, and I'm trying just to get one. But, okay. All right. A book written in 2020. Shouldn't be too difficult. It's the end of the year-ish. <laughs> I am going to be reading The Night Swim by Megan Golden. This is a thriller with a podcast element, and I know very little about it. I talked about this in my book haul, um, and I, I don't want to know because I did know a little bit too much with her first book, and it's just not something that I, I want to go in blind. So we're going to... I don't know much about it, but uh, Books and Law is doing the um, buzzword-a-thon, and night is the theme for it so I at least will read this book during that week and f sort of kind of participate. I have two more prompts. This is not looking good um, at all. But that's okay. Maybe maybe we'll this is this is gonna be a rough rough month. That's cool. Um, I also have this secret project that I'm doing for the end of September into early October. So like, I basically only have three weeks to read these books. So we're going to be doing a lot of reading this month. Okay, the book, the prompt is read a book in bed. Okay, sorry if the angle changed. So I will be reading George by Alex Gino. This is a queer middle grade story about a transgender character. Banned Books Weeks is in September. One of the Pop Sugar challenges is to read a banned book during Banned Books Week. So I'm going to be reading this. Um, it seems super short and I'm really excited about it. There's actually a couple in this series, I think, um, about these different queer characters. And I really enjoy seeing that in middle grade. And while nobody on booktube talks about these stories, which I'm not sure why, other than it's an older book, I think. Um, but they're, they are on Hoopla and I think Scribd as well. So I will be definitely be checking it out. And our last prompt, whew, this is going to be a rough, rough month um, because I did not get many of my buddy reads in here. That's cool. 
All right, and the final prompt is an easy one. It's a contemporary. Okay, uh, book the buddy reads did not fit in this one either, so it's gonna be a fun month. Uh, fortunately, a lot of these buddy reads have audiobooks, so that should be good. Um, so for this prompt, I will be reading can I See You Again by Alice Morgan. This is a reread for me. This is actually the very first contemporary that I ever read. Uh, so I guess it it's fitting for this prompt. But this is about a woman. If you think, if you remember the movie Hitch, this is basically that, that trope, um, except the woman is the matchmaker and she ends up falling in love for a client, I think. I think. But yeah, like I said, this is the very first contemporary that I ever read. And I would like to see it if I still enjoy it, still love it and if it kind of holds up to the current contemporaries that I am reading. So to go over the books that are not on my categories TBR, but I still have to read, or I'm going to be reading, uh, the first one is The How and the Why by Cynthia Hand. This is the book club book for Lacey D. Bell's books. I will link her channel down below, but I'm going to be Betty reading it with her and Kaylee from the Dog Eared page, and very excited to pick this one up. And this is a like adoption story. It's part of the foster system, or the characters are part of the foster system, I think. And you know that those stories are very close to my heart. So this is definitely one that I've been wanting to pick up for a really long time. And then when I saw Kaylee talking about it, I knew I had to pick it up. And then also when I was watching Kaylee's vlog uh, from last week, she hauled The Book of Longings by Sue Mung Kid. And so I was like, hey, do you want to buddy read it? Not thinking she was like, yeah, let's do it now. And I was like, okay, that's cool. Um, <laughs> I, again, this has been on my radar for a few months. This has actually made it onto a couple of TBRs and then ended up getting like changed out uh, just because it is a little bit of a chunker. But this is a feminist retelling of the life of Jesus told from like his wife's perspective. Um, I don't tend to like religious books, but I've heard some really good things about this book from people that also don't like religious books and not making it... Um, more like a like it's actually historical fiction it's not trying to be the Bible it's not trying to be a biblical story um, but it is um, fiction so really really interested this seems like a really fascinating concept and I'm curious to see how that one goes so we're gonna read those back to back and then the last buddy read that I'm going to be doing I think the following week I don't remember. Um, I'm going to be doing with Margaret from The Word Nerd, and that is White Fragility by Robin D'Angelo. Um, why it's so hard for white people to talk about racism. This is a nonfiction book, um, obviously, and it's just talking about um, like white privilege and like just I'm reading it to better educate myself. And this is definitely um, one that I've been on the lookout for for a while. I'm really glad I'm going to be buddy reading it with somebody because. It'll give us a chance to like kind of bounce things off of each other, have a really good discussion, and it'll definitely be one that I talk about quite a bit um, in vlogs and wrap ups and things like that. So here are my books, all of them. Oh my gosh. Um, here, let me put the other ones in here. I'm gonna die this month. It's cool. If you are new here and you have not yet subscribed, there's a little red button that you can do so down below the video. And all the other links to my social media will be in the description below if you would like to be my friend on any other platform. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.